what does it mean to be a man today? In many societies around the world, men are expected to be tough and in control, successful and dominating, aggressive, brave. Who are you talking to right now? I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. These behaviors are seen as typically masculine, even positive. But when toughness, disregard for danger, and desire to control happen at the expense of tolerance, compassion, and equitable behavior, things turn negative quite quickly and descend into what sociologists call toxic masculinity. What do we mean by toxic masculinity? We mean the ideas, the norms, the attitudes that we raise boys around to think that we're dominant, that violence is a way to resolve problems, that we're superior to women, that only being heterosexual is the only way one can be. We call that group of ideas, that, that cluster of ideas, toxic masculinity. And we think the antidote to that is promoting healthy masculinity. It is now known that toxic masculinity is incredibly harmful, especially to women. In fact, according to the UN, more than one-third of the women around the world have experienced some kind of physical or sexual violence at the hands of men. Men who internalize and believe and buy into these negative ideas, they often cause harm to their female partners, they're more likely to use violence, they're more likely to harass, they're also more likely to use violence against other men. What is not talked about as much is how toxic masculinity can also harm men, often in ways that are not immediately obvious. For instance, in the UK, more women than men are diagnosed with depression, but men account for three quarters of deaths from suicides. That's because according to a UK study, men in Britain are 8% less likely to seek help for depression than women. Because for many men, seeking help is often seen as a sign of weakness. Does your girlfriend think you're a fucking worthless loser? When half your society is made up of men, toxic masculinity then becomes a societal threat. For instance, many men might see wearing a mask during the COVID-19 pandemic as a sign of weakness. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence refused to wear one while visiting patients last April. Why? According to Peter Glick, a social science professor at Lawrence University in Wisconsin, this was to avoid showing weakness in public. Listen to what he says. Trump, Johnson, and Bolsonaro not only publicly minimized the risks posed by coronavirus to prove their masculine credentials, but delayed or failed to implement safety measures that could have spared unnecessary deaths. Toxic masculinity is not new. There are Greek myths that glorify sexual assault, like when the masculine Hades abducts and rapes Persephone. Spartan men had to be brave no matter what. If they showed fear on a battlefield, they could no longer be citizens. This is so interwoven in our culture, even today, that you may not notice it. Lads do football or boxing or wrestling, not friggin' Bali. It's time to rethink what it means to be masculine, what it means to be a man. How about you? When was the last time you cried? When was the last time you asked for help? Are you afraid to cry like a boy?